Hello guys, you're all welcome to Force Influencers channel where we talk about the latest in the world of sports. So today we'll be talking about a great man, a great manager, an ex-Chelsea manager in the name of Jose Mourinho. A few weeks ago, Jose Mourinho started a conversation which uh, I'm sure most of the players or managers don't want to get involved with, even the, the stakeholders, as in football stakeholders, administrators and you know, even the big names that they don't want to get involved with. He said something that has been trending or trended and I just I was just going through the thing in my mind. I, I took a couple of days just to reflect on what he said. What he said about players, especially players from African country or African descent, maybe they are related through their uh, parents or they they are from there themselves. So Jose Mourinho advised the world football go governing body, FIFA, to stop African players from representing other countries other than that of their origin. The Roma boss believed that the national team from African continent can also make history by being given a fair chance to win the World Cup once this is done. You might say it's uh, a controversial statement, but, you know, reflecting... You know, going back and thinking about all those things, you know that um, Jose Mourinho was making a point, even though nobody wants to talk about this. But these are topics that we need to talk about once in a while. A number of African countries must be wondering what it will feel like if they were able to fuel several of the players who stayed for champions, such as France and top place Belgium at the 2018 World Cup tournament. You know, we, we need to you know, talk about these topics, that what will it be if these players, you know, are able to play for their own countries or the country their parents are from. We have top talent. We have top players who played for countries like Belgium, Romeli Lakaku. Parents are from Republic of Congo. Moussa Dembele. His father is from Mali. Amurani Felani. The parents are from Morocco. So these are, you know, uh, these are players. These are world-class players that, you know, I'm sure that the, the countries where they are from, you know, they must have thought about what if those players were able to play for all. The French squad featured stars like Paul Pogba, whose parents are from Guinea, Nicolo Kante. <laughs> you know, these, these are players. These are world players. Ngolo Kante's parents are from Mali. Kylian Mbappe, mother is from Algeria and the father is a Cameroonian. Blaise Matsudi, parents are from Angola and Samuel Umitsiti, which, is, uh, which was born in Cameroon. All these players were eligible to play for the countries of their parentage, but it never happened. They opted to play for France and Belgium instead. So what could be the reason why they opted to play for France and, you know, such countries like France and Belgium instead of their own countries? You know, some opinions or some, some people felt that it has to do with money. And some others felt that it has to do with what the, the government of the day in the countries where they are adopted or countries where they are being born you know, what the opportunities they are, they are being given. To, to, be, to be fair to, to these players, the countries of their parents or the countries where they come from must not be giving them all these opportunities. But the countries where they are from or the countries where they represent are giving them all, those, all, 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 all these opportunities. Which comes back to us. Which we have to talk about. That the government of the African countries have to sit down that what can we offer all these players that are playing for foreign countries instead of playing for their countries? That is their countries of origin. What are we doing wrong? How can we address this? Jose Mourinho, yes, it might be controversial, like I said earlier, but is is able to, you know, is able to pinpoint all these cogent points. All these players were eligible to play for their countries of their parents, like I said, but it never happened. 
France had as many as 15 players with African roots in the squad of 23. Belgium had 9 out of 23. Even England, also in the top 4 of the 2018 competition, had players from African parentage, including Dele Ali from Nigeria and Danny Welbeck, whose parents are from Ghana. Last year, six players who were eligible to play for Nigeria were among 21 English players who won the FIFA Under-20 World Cup. The story of Africa missing out on players goes back more than half a century. 80 years ago, Raul Diagne, a Senegalese, played as defender for France in the 1938 World Cup. He won 18 caps for France and after Senegal's independence became its first coach. In 1963, he led the West African teams to its first victory against France and became a national hero. That has always been, you know, the order of the day. When these this so-called players, when they, you know, represent the countries of, uh, of their backs or where the, of, uh, the countries where they have taken on, you know, when they go back to, to Africans, they are, they are giving this welcome parties or welcome reception, as it might be. Over the decade, other players with African connection have made their mark at the World Cup. This included superstars like Fontani, whose parents are from Morocco, who represented France in 1958, Mozambican Eswabo da Silva Ferrara, who represented Portugal at the 1966 World Cup, and the great Zidane Zidane of Algerian Descent, who was prominent in France team when they won the tournament in 1998. There are also others too. Can African countries break the cycle and improve their chances of accomplishing much more at the World Cup? Change is already underway, but a lot more needs to be done. The biggest challenge is that the administrators and the managers are really trying to find out why African players choose their countries above their homeland. Until this knowledge gap is filled, it is impossible to reverse this trend. But in 2020, Jose Mourinho asked why African players are moving from their continent to play for other countries. UEFA Conference League winner believes African countries will continue to be denied this from becoming a World Cup winner should they continue to allow their players to represent other continents. He went on to say, I want the world to realize that African is equal to everyone and not just people saying Africans are not good. Because he believes that Africans have the ability to win any game, only because most of their players are scattered all over the world, playing for different countries beyond their homeland. I believe that most of these players, even though, yeah, over the years, this topic just led to, you know, they just make me think back again to the French assimilation during the colonial days that, you know, the French totally just absorb everybody. I, I need you to, I need you to comment on this topic because this is a very sensitive topic and what do you think that the players can do? What do you think that the government of these players that, you know, leaves that country and look for greener pasture. It's another, it's another form of, uh, can we say brain drain or talent, football talent drain, you know, as the, uh, as the matter may, may be. I feel that, you know, this, this controversial statement by this great manager, Jose Mourinho, you know, needs to be addressed and the government of the day you know, they have to, they don't have to shy away from this, including FIFA himself, the governing body, needs to address, there should be, they, they should put a plan in place, you know, maybe a, a clause has to be in place for, for all these players to know that, oh, they can always go back, you know, when it comes to tournaments like this. It doesn't mean that they, um, they have to leave the countries which they are representing, but at the same time, the African continent has to have a level playing ground. They have to have opportunities, you know, for them to excel in all these competitions. 
what is your say on, on, on this? I would like to listen. I would like to hear from you. Another gentleman that spoke about this sensitive topic was uh, a gentleman by the name of Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah is uh, a South African boy based in the US. He's a presenter of Daily Show. He's, that's a US talk show. Uh, he made a comment on the show a um, few, few years back. He made a topic on his show when he said he got a letter from the French ambassador based in the US uh, at that time. Uh, when Trevor Noir now stated that uh, did Africa just win the World Cup? You know, Trevor Noir was very jubilant when he said, uh, you know, he gets it that when he looks at that team that won the World Cup, but he now said that look at those guys. The, the you know the the people that were seen on that team on the French team, the photograph of eleven French players, five of whom were black. Basically, France is an African backup team. That's what he said. It continues. Once Senegal and Nigeria got knocked out, then it's the French team that you know. That himself and so many people were rooting for. But the French ambassador didn't like that statement. That never went down well with the, the French ambassador to the US then, or the French envoy, was Gerard Arond, who was, you know, came out to stay out. Oh, he's not shying away from, you know, from this, from the comment which Trevor Noir made. He condemned the statement made by Trevor Noir on his talk show saying that we don't see our players like that at first they are first of all french before anything comes in so and some some school of thoughts also taught that look um this gentleman must be making a point because whether i want to believe it or not there are still some of this you know players that don't want to have anything to do with the african country or the african continent so that's why I said once again that it would be nice to have your contribution, your criticism. You know, this is a sensitive topic that I know that people might want to chip in a um, couple of, you know, submissions, maybe of, of comments. All the comments are welcome. Please make your comments on the, on, you know, on the provision made below. Make your comments. Follow us for more insightful topics like this. And if you've not started following us, like I said, we implore you to join us. Let's, you know, let's make the conversation. Let's keep it going. Let's talk about it. Until next time when I come your way, my name is Jide. I'm, first, I'm, I'm from First Influencers TV. I implore you to join us. Until later, it's bye from me.